Hello, and welcome to Vapor. On today's show, I have picked up, for the purpose of this review, the brand new, long-awaited, Vupu TPP Pod Tank. I'm pretty excited to open this. I have the PNP Pod Tank, and I absolutely love it. It's amazing. So when Vupu came up with this TPP pod tank, I'm just like, what? How are they going to outdo the PNP? I mean, it was already freaking awesome. So for them to say this is an, an improvement upon it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I cannot wait to come down low with this and open it up and show you what's inside the TPP pod tank. Okay, and now we're down low with the Vupu TPP pod tank. From the box, it shows the color. It's gunmetal. On the side of the box, they give you warning to keep away from children and pets. I don't know what pets will be doing vaping, but if you tell your pet how to do that, please post a video. I've got to see that. On the back, it's got the list of what comes in the box. There are a lot of warnings for nicotine on this thing. It's getting kind of crazy. If you're to scratch this, it smells exactly what it'd smell like if you put your finger up your butthole. So, yeah, don't smell that. So let's open up the box and see what comes inside. Well, just like the PNP, it's got a nice little drawstring on it to pull it out. Okay, nice and neat. Comes with two coils. Let's see, what do we got here? This is a point two. That could be hard to see. Focus. Yeah, point two. 40 to 60 watt. Best 50 to 55 watt. It's nice they put those little details on there like that. That way you don't accidentally overcook it when you first get it. This one, I don't know if I'll be able to see it. 0.15 ohm, looks like it is between 50 and 80 watt, best 65 to 75 watt. And that's the one I'm going to be trying out with this because the PNP pod system I have, that is the same ohm coil that I have in there. So at least it'll be comparable for the cloud production and the taste. So then inside... Let's see if we can get this thing out. Inside. Got the star to show, of course. The TPP pod tank itself. And it's a really nice gunmetal. It really is. And there's knurling like everywhere in here, so it's nice and grippy. Airflow adjustment. Doesn't stop, but that's okay. Huge, huge airflow. Wow. Both sides. At the top. It says designed by Vupu. Adapt TPP coils. That's really nice. Does this come off? Ooh, it does. Wow. Excellent job, Vupu. See, the PNP, you can't do that. But this one, you can, the TPP. That, that is awesome. I can put my 810s on there if they have that double O-ring. Bottom here. You can see Vupu, made in China. The nice thing about this one, too, is if you look really close, you can see that actually the 510 pin sticks out beyond the bottom, which also the, the PNP did not. PNP you could not use with mechanicals or hybrid mechanicals, but this one protrudes from the bottom. So yes, you can use this with mechanicals. Another improvement. That is awesome. Uh, let's see. This thing also holds 5.5 ml of e-liquid, which the PNP only hold, held 4.5. I'm going to take some measurements on this and see 
if the size changed on it at all. Let's see here. Oops. See the base of it comes in at 26, which the other one, the PMP, the base was 24. But it looks like they matched it to the glass. The glass is also 26. So this one's 26 all the way up. Let's see the height from the bottom. You can see the height is 52, so it is taller, definitely taller. The other one was 46, so this is 6 millimeters taller as well. Okay, I got a regular 810 drip tip over here. It does not have the rings on it. I just want to see if it is compatible. Nope. So if you don't have rings on the drip tip, see how they're different? No rings, two rings on it. You need a different drip tip with rings on it if you want to use it with this device, if you want to swap out the original. This original seems fine to me. Because that gunmetal looks nice with that tint. So it looks really nice. And just for a comparison in size, here's the original PNP tank. You can see there is a bit of a size difference there. Mostly because of capacity for the extra uh, ml of liquid in it. But I want to see also, is this base compatible with the PNP? Will it work? Yes, it does work. Albeit a little bit of juice came out. <laughs> if that one works, then this one should work on the old base. And it does. So they are cross compatible with each other. That is pretty cool. So you could have one base and one device, another base and another device. And you could be vaping on them separately and decide, well, I, I want to take this one to work because that's my work device and this is my at home, but I want this juice. Well, you just pop them out and there you go. Take a net to work. This one's sitting back at home. Just that easy. Vupu is ahead of the game when it comes to that sort of thing. It's pretty awesome. So next, let's take a look at the coils. I'm going to pop out. And uh, see what it looked like. Down low. So, okay, I got the 0.15 coil. Pop it out of the packaging. And one thing I'm kind of noticing from looking at this coil, I can't help but feel like it's bigger than the PNP coil. I'll be right back with a PNP coil to compare. So comparing it to a PMP coil, there is indeed a very definite size difference. Not only height-wise, but also if you look at the width of the coil and also just the airflow in, in the coil. I mean, that one on the right's got to be nearly double the airflow. So I'm wondering if this could be a very airy coil. And then, of course, the juice... For the cotton, on the size, the cutouts are so much bigger. I mean, wow. It is night and day difference between these two coils. So I'm getting more excited by the minute to try out this TPP. It looks pretty awesome. Let's pop that inside the tank. These are really simple to use, just like the PNP. It doesn't matter which way you have that pointed. You just simply put it in the tank like so and press, boom, done, installed. One thing I wish they would have changed though is the fill system because bottom fill systems are kind of leaky and you plus you have to pop it out just to fill it every time. I mean, there's enough real estate on here where they easily could have put some sort of filling method on the top to make it easier. It might not have been as, you know, 
sleek or sexy in his appearance, but it definitely been been more accessible for day to day use. So we're gonna put some juice in here, and prime that coil up, and after about oh five minutes or so, be coming back on screen. We'll vape on it. Yeah, we got air bubbles. She's priming. Oh yeah, baby. I'll squirt a few more down in the middle here to help it out. See you back in a few. All right, we're back up on top and we're gonna do a comparison between the PNP and the TPP pod to see which is better. So they both fit in the base like so got it at 66 watts see how she do pretty good pretty good so let's see how the TPP does in comparison also 66 watts. Damn. That thing really blasts some clouds. Did not expect it to be like that. Gonna try the, the PNP again. Go try again. Get another shot. Come on, one more try. Okay, okay, it looks close, it looks close, but can the TPP top it one more time? Let's see how she do. <laughs> Holy hell, that is just fucking insane. That is insane. Like literally, that was just two puffs on this. This one I've been puffing on a while, so it's broken in. It's got no excuse. It's totally broken in. This is literally first and second puffs on it. And just, wow. Wow. That is just amazing. It's awesome. The flavor. It, it's spot on. Spot on. The PMP, spot on flavor too. So I would have to say that's pretty equal between the two. Um, the looks, I mean, one's a little more tinted. I mean, this is an advantage to 810 drip tip. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just awesome. It's crazy. Um, the, the, also to think, right, these two uh, pod kits, the TPP tank, and the PMP tank are relatively the same price too. So it's not like this is vastly more expensive, but I guess I'm looking at the flip side of the coin. These are smaller coil atomizers. So you know that's gonna be reflected in like uh, the, the maintenance costs. So these coils are probably gonna cost you a little bit more. Is it worth it? Well, if you want to get some monster ass clouds with a lot of flavor for just a slight upcharge, I mean, as far as coils go, yeah, this is totally worth it. Would I recommend you buy it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I recommend you buy it. I also recommend you buy this one too, because it's just, it's awesome as well. So, I mean, I guess, I mean, height wise, this this does stand a bit taller. So if you're not into really tall tanks, I guess that would be a knock on it. 
as opposed to this one, which is smaller. So, yeah, I mean, preference, I guess it's just, yeah, this comes on to preference. Slightly more expensive coils, slightly taller, movable 810. This one doesn't have a removable tip. A little bit smaller though, probably a little bit cheaper on the coils in the long run, but yeah, they're just, they're just awesome. I gotta hit this thing again. This thing is just, I, I couldn't believe the cloud that came out of it. Yeah, awesome. So that's it for today's show. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you subscribe, hit the notification bell on the bottom of the screen. And until next time, you know what to do. Later, babers.